Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another week of uh, Instagram stories. We're at week 44, I believe. That's right. And we're almost at the end of the year and the end of a decade. How crazy is that? I mean, to me, the craziest part is the fact that we're about to start a new decade and it's going to be even awesomer. I'm already, I already forgot about what I did last decade. Fuck, I forgot what I did yesterday. Anyways, that's why I film every single day, you know, so that way I, I never forget. Right, and now you see. So anyways, um, it's already Christmas as you guys can see. We got the Christmas light uh, tree going. We got Lambo over here celebrating. <laughs> In fact, what are you going to get me for Christmas, Lambo? This guy, just quiet. Now all of a sudden he doesn't want to talk, huh? Lambo, seriously, what are you going to get me for, for my birthday? Uh, um, um, rent money. <gasps> oh, shit. Damn, brother, for reals? Are you serious? Rent? Yeah, man, yeah. I, I, I think I'm going to start paying rent, brother. Yeah, I mean, why not? Holy guacamole, man. This is, a, this is an amazing time. Look at that. We're all we're going to be ending this year on a great note. Damn, Lambo, for reals? You're going to be paying rent coming next year? For reals? Yeah, brother, why not? Why, why wouldn't I be paying rent, bro? You, you're so good to me. You're awesome. Now, now, Lambo, can I can I ask how much uh, how much are you gonna be paying for rent? I mean, I'm just curious. Um, five hundred pesos. That's it. Twenty five bucks. That. Well, actually, you know what? That's actually not so bad. I'm actually pretty happy. Hey, I was expecting a lot less. I mean, five hundred. You know, five hundred anything is actually pretty good. I'll take it. All right. Hell yeah. No, damn, well, I just need to figure out where I'm going to get 25 bucks. Oh, Lambo, what are we going to do with you? Anyways, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this extra long intro. We're going to have an extra long outro, probably. I don't know. You're going to have to watch this whole thing to find out. Anyways, guys, without further ado, the week in review. In, oh, the week in Instagram stories. All right, just, just watch it. ¿Es video? Sí. Digo hola, digo hola. Hola. Definitely, definitely not any snow anytime soon. I think we're okay out here. Feels good to be uh, living out here in the Yucatan. Still at the beach. We're, we're, we'll be on our way home soon. Oh. <laughs> gonna get that shot <clears throat> so we're out here on the pier Uh. 
So yeah, that's it. We're back home. We're just chilling for a little bit. Um, we're waiting for the water heater to heat up so we can take a shower and uh, get some rest and uh, get some pizza, right? You want some pizza? Yeah. She wants some pizza. Oh, I want some pizza. Happy Monday. Alrighty then guys, happy Monday morning. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I don't know if you guys were watching a little bit of the stories. I was able to share a little bit, tiny bit of my amazing weekend uh, with my girl um, at the beach. And uh, you know, the reason I don't share with you guys too much here on the weekends is because I try to have a little bit of time off. I gotta, You gotta be able to um, take some time to enjoy your own life and not be you know, so focused on all these other things. Now, again, you guys already know me. I, I love what I do. And I, 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 if, it, if it wasn't for Christian, I would be working 24 hours a day, 365. But that's not healthy either. It's very nice and healthy to, you know, be able to get out of the house and do something like that's not work. Because, look, even though we were at the beach having fun this weekend, I was still a little working. I was filming. We were having fun. But, again, that's the key word. We were just having fun, having a great old time. The weekend before that, we went to the fair. And um, I actually took my camera as well. Or actually, I, we were, I was thinking about taking my camera. But then when I realized, when we both realized, hey, you know, we just want to have fun. And if I take my camera, I'm just going to be filming the fair. It's a fair. It's not like anything um, that nobody out here hasn't seen before. Sure, it's a Mexican fair. Sure. And um, it was awesome. That's actually pretty awesome. And I wish I would have filmed. But actually, I'm actually even happier that I did it and happier that I spent time with her and had a great old time with her. So, I mean, yeah, that's it's all about priorities, guys. Priorities. Priorities. Pri prior prioritizing priorities. Sorry, my English is so good sometimes. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yummy. Nectar of the Gads. You already know the deal. It's Friday morning. Yeah, that's right. It's not Monday. It's not anything else. It's Friday. Still got work to do. Still got things to do. Last night was beyond amazing. Now, I know you're probably watching this like another week ahead of time if you're watching this on YouTube. But if you guys were here yesterday um, and you guys were around for the McGaffey interview that I published and uh, the subsequent Twitch um, aftermath. Man, we had a lot of fucking fun on Twitch. We had a lot of fun while I was posting that McGaffey interview. It, it was way better than what I thought. Everything is great. Now we're here Friday and recovering after drinking a lot of alcohol and celebrating and having a lot of fun with all you guys out there. And now I'm going to have some coffee. And uh, I'm going to get some work done a little bit. Not too much. It's Friday. I got I got, actually got ahead. And, um, and Christian's coming. And we got the weekend to get started. Because uh, we're going to the beach tomorrow. We're going to have a little bit of a picnic and stuff. So, you know, we got to go to the store. i got to get some groceries. I already ate all the food here. And so on and so forth. So, you know, you got a jam-packed weekend. Like most of us do. You know, same old, same old. By the way, a quick update on the noise. No more. And um, that goes to show you how life can be funny. Like, for real. Sometimes you got to laugh with it. But sometimes, you know, it's uh, hard to see the humor in life. But let me explain. For those of you guys that have been following me for the last week, for the last few days, you guys know the noise out there has been crazy. I've been having things shake in my house, all kinds of things. The reason I was worrying the last few days is because, again, I had some very, very important uh, um, people that I had to talk to, like John McGaffey. I was interviewing him with my headphones, sitting here with the fucking, like, it felt like World War II was going on out there. I thought the fucking building was going to fucking fall from all the shaking and the noise. But yet... I kept it together, I kept my cool, and not just, you know, with that, but other things that I had to do um, that I can't share with everything with you guys, but the main point is, is that I survived, and once everything was over, so was the noise, and that goes to show you that sometimes when we get these hurdles, when we get these problems thrown in our face, in our lives, it's up to us to figure out what the fuck we're going to do. Again, what are we going to do? Are we going to man up? You know, which is what I did, you know, just, you know, sure, don't get me wrong. I was pissed. I, I pouted. I did a few things. But at the end of the day, I knew there was no solution. And the only thing that I could actually really do was to just figure it out and stop being a little 
bitch about it because that's basically what was happening. And guess what? Not only did I figure it out and I did it and I put my big points, big boy pants on, but it was a major success. And now, after the whole thing is over, I give myself a, two pats on the back, one on each side. And why? Because I'm very, very proud of myself of not just all the things that I accomplished, but under the conditions I accomplished them in. And guess what? What that does is that that just makes me even better for the next time because guess what there could be another time in the future where i could be doing something very similar there's going to be a lot of distractions and it's going to be me and somebody else and guess what i'm probably going to end up winning out that interaction or what have you because i've already been through things like this or worse and that's what experience teaches you so when life gives you lemons it's not about you know what i mean like you crying that you got some bitter motherfucking lemons no it's your job to have or have already figured out the best lemon pie recipe lemon you know uh, candy recipe hey guys my pet raccoon is still missing so please if you guys see my pet raccoon out there help me out all right all right, another long, successful day in the books. Sorry I really didn't get to check in. I was really, really hard at work at like a billion things, and especially um, the latest Cuba video. As you guys can see, finally exporting it. It's gonna take a sweet ass time, as usual. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish this. Um, just taking a little break. Um, got a little bit of a tummy ache, you know. I'm gonna see if I can uh, make myself some something to eat. I gotta eat something, you know, and then uh, that's it. Just, uh, you know, just chilling out. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna upload it and uh, be done. And then tomorrow's another day. We got a lot of stuff we gotta do tomorrow. Hey guys, how's it going? And happy Taco Tuesday. Ah! I know, it's already like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Look at that. Sun's out, gun's out. So that means I gotta head the hell out of here. Um, that's what I was trying to do with that funny. Anyways, all right. So, yeah, I haven't checked in with you guys today because I've been crazy busy. Just like a million things. I've been in and out of the house. I've been editing. I've been just doing so many freaking things. But, hey, at least I got a lot of things done. Uh, now, I got to go to Ed Centro because I got a bunch of errands to run. I got to meet up with a client real quick. Got some uh, work I got to get real quick. Uh, I got to come back and get back to work. Um, and then, uh, yeah, once I get everything settled in... Um, I got some editing to do, and I think, yeah, today's Tuesday, I got to meet up with somebody later tonight, again, another client, um, but yeah, just, you know, a lot of work, um, tomorrow kind of simmers down a little bit more, um, so I have a lot more time to edit, and I got a lot, lot more time to do more stuff, but regardless, it's a pretty busy month, not just for me, I think for all of us out there, um, it's uh, December, it's uh, Christmas, it's the end of the year, it's the end of the, end of the decade, I mean, come on. There's a lot, you know, that we all got to get done. A lot of, uh, a lot of loose ends we got to tie up. But regardless, guys, though, um, you know, I'm just doing a lot of work. I'm trying to film a lot of things, um, not just for me, for clients and all that good stuff. I have a million things coming up, not just this month, but the following months. So it's all about uh, preparation. It's all about, you know, making sure everything's in order and everything will be totally fine. So with that being said, let me stop wasting time hanging out with you guys over here. Um, I got some videos to edit on the way to do all those things so that way yeah you already know i'm always uh you know maximizing my time i could be easily listening to uh you know my uh headphones or even walk or even taking an uber but it's not you know what i mean it's all about you know being able to use your time wisely so with that being said i gotta get the hell out of here thanks again uh for hanging out as always and uh, i'll check in with you guys later i promise all right, just a few more minutes, and uh, we got the next one done. Which episode is that? Is, uh, by the way, damn, I, I look pretty good in my new glasses, don't I? I got some new glasses, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if I told you guys or not. Let me know. What do you guys think of my new glasses? I don't know. Are they too big? Are they too whatever? I think they look all right. You know what? At the end of the day, I can see better. And, uh, yeah, I got these uh, because my other ones broke again. I know. I need to finally get some real good ones. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I was just finishing editing the, the beach episode. So you guys remember um, on Saturday, me and Christian went to the beach and had a fun old time having a little picnic. So, hey, I just finished editing that video. I think it came out pretty fun, pretty great. You guys uh, 
Um, you guys will be seeing it on Saturday. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already saw it. But anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, after I'm done here, I got to upload the videos that I shot today when I went to Ed Centro. And uh, if I have time, which I should, I'm going to start editing those as well. And uh, yeah, go from there, you know go from there i got a live stream tomorrow don't forget if you guys are around 11 a.m eastern on youtube hey 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 happy 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 did i say happy hump day hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful week hope you're having a better hair day than me too All right, so that is um, where all that noise is coming from. Now, we got more noise coming from over here, but that's because I came out here to fill up my uh, water tank. And so, you know, that's why I'm out here uh, filming um, the neighbor that's making all that noise, building the hotel. But yeah, today it's like actually really hot and humid. Um, all these days has been actually pretty cool, you know, like a cool weather. Um, but today I woke up and it was like so hot and humid and it's still, you know relatively cool like it's in the low 80s but it's just so humid and there's all these uh rain clouds without any rain and it just feels so bleh. i feel like i'm in a sauna that's like halfway turned on but it sucks so yeah you know literally i'm just doing a lot of work i'm also trying to feel a little better um been taking some medicines uh to take care of this little thingy i got going on feeling you know feeling a little you know what what have you i think it might also have to do with the weather but you know i'm still trying to figure out how i feel about these new glasses now in all honesty um i do see better with them they are really comfortable they you know they, they i like everything about them except how they look on my face now i just might be used to my other black rim glasses already for you know since i've been wearing those for years and i haven't had the pair like these in a very long time um, and that might be why I just look or feel weird every time I look at myself. But honestly, honestly, like I said, I, I, I you know, without every time I, 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 as I go through my regular every day, every, these glasses are amaze balls. But every time I look at myself in the, in you know, in the video thing or in the mirror or anything like that, I'm like, man, I don't like these glasses. But um, a lot of you guys have already told me that you guys love these glasses and more importantly my girlfriend says they look great so she hasn't seen me in person yet I, I just got them yesterday but hey regardless um, you know it seems like you know the people that actually matter whether they look good or not which is uh, you guys you guys seem to like them so I don't look that awful I know you guys will tell me the truth right I mean I'm just suspicious because even Lambo is saying that they look great and that's that's why you know because this fucking guy is always uh, you know trying to sabotage me but yeah they look great bro I don't know what you're talking about they look amazing I can't trust this guy so but anyways let me know what you guys think do you guys think they look good or what be honest um, a year salary out here and um, you know basically that's all you need. yeah you already know what's up just uh editing some videos, doing a little multitasking, getting some coffee done. I got more to edit, more to do. You already know what's up. In fact, I gotta wrap this one up as well. And uh, just keep on, keep on on. You know, plus uh, all the other stuff I gotta do Christmas-wise. Merry Christmas! Well, Lambo, another great week. Another great, awesome, you know, Instagram stories week in review. Uh, yeah, hard sell on that one, brother. <laughs> Anyways, you excited, though? Are you really excited for the next year? Are you excited for Christmas? I'm really crazy excited. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm always excited. Look at my face, see? I, ca I can't not be excited. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. Anyways, guys, I just want to give you guys all a big shout-out, a big thank you, a big uh, hug. Thank you so much for always being here and always supporting, uh, you know, me and the horse. Uh, it's, uh... That's it. It's pretty much coming to the end of the year. I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. You know, I'm still going to be doing these Instagram stories, you know, in the next few weeks as uh, we roll through the holidays. Uh, not sure how long they're going to be or what have you. But regardless, we're still going to be here as always, you know, just sharing all the fun and all the festivities together. And um, man, it's been an amazing year. Can't believe it's already over. I can't believe this decade is over. I can't believe, you know, we're pretty much that's it. You know what I mean? It's already there. 
Um, and that, I mean, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. I'm at a loss for words. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always being here. Don't forget to always, you know, please like, please subscribe, please share, please stay awesome. But more importantly than anything else, enjoy the festivities. Guys, if I don't see you for the rest of the holidays, I'll see you after the holidays. But you guys already know what's up. Enjoy them. So I'll see you here every single day. You already know where to find me. Bye. Bye. In my, it's about time, man. That was a long-ass fucking outro. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways, guys, love you. Bye. Thanks for always being here. I always, 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 always think about you. All right, that was kind of creepy. Later, bro. Later, guys. Hey, guys, me and Lambler are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're going to see some here now, you're going to have all kinds of fun. So, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys when you...